Hi, this is Autodidact and welcome to this very first video of Laravel series. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can easily set up a Laravel application in your local machine using Windows operating system. Alright, let's get started. So, let's navigate to laravel.com first and then, and then click on the documentation link here. And then you can either click on the Mac OS, Windows, or Linux link here to get started. I'll click on the Windows. And then um, we'll also, we are also going to use Docker Desktop. But for now, let's click on here to make sure that uh, WSL or Windows subsystem for Linux will be installed on your computer. Right here, step one. Okay, so all you have to do now is open the PowerShell and make sure you, you are running as an administrator. Okay, right click on here, run as administrator. Okay. Click copy here to copy the command and then uh, paste it here, run. Next, uh, let's jump to step 3, copy the command, paste it here, run. And then next, we are going to restart uh, our computer or our machine. I'll go ahead and restart my machine here and pause this recording. Alright, so I've restarted my machine and next is we're going to download here, right, click on here to download the Linux kernel, okay? I've downloaded this one so I don't need to download that again. I'll go to my directory, double click in here to install Linux kernel, okay? Finish, go back and then uh, go to step 5, copy the command here. Then open the uh, PowerShell again, right click, run as administrator, and then paste the command that you copied. And I think we're good here. Um, next, we're going to install the uh, Linux distribution. Um, install. We're going to install this via Microsoft Store, so I'll uh, we'll go ahead and search Ubuntu here. Ubuntu, and I am going to choose 20, Ubuntu 20 here. Mm -hmm. Okay, click install to install the app. And then once done, click on the launch button here and wait for the uh, app uh, to initialize okay I'll use um, developer as username and then uh, enter new password you have to remember your password here because you're going to uh, be needing this uh, password later so I think we are good here and next thing we need to do is close this one and go back to the Laravel uh, documentation and install Docker desktop but I've installed this or downloaded this one already so I don't need to download this one again but you go ahead and download that one and let's um, open my directory, uh, downloads, docker, so double click on here to install. And I'll fast forward this one. Okay. Alright, I think we're done here. Close and uh, log out okay it's um, being installed click on here apply we need to make sure uh, Ubuntu 20 is enabled there uh, to be integrated with uh, Docker. Also here, 
make sure um, use docker compose version 2 you select it uh, let's check WSL integration okay close that one for now and then uh, restart Okay. All right. Let's close it one. It's still running on the on the background, so you don't need to worry about that. So now we have to install Laravel. But first, open the Ubuntu uh, app there, and then uh, check if Docker is uh, fully integrated with uh, your uh, Ubuntu app here. Obviously, it is. So. That's one way of uh, making sure uh, your your Docker is integrated with a Linux app here. Okay, let's go to uh, CD mount. Um, if you want to go to your um, um, drives, you can go to or cd to mount folder and then uh, ls to find your drives and i'll make a uh, directory here ww and uh, let's enter that directory and clear this command line here okay now copy copy this and you're good to go okay that's all you need to do copy that command and by the way you can change this um, apple dash app here if you want okay because after the installation it will create um, a folder named example dash app and you can either or you can um, it's up to you if you want to change that one example that app can change that any any name you like uh, for your project okay so let's wait for this to be finished now this is the time you enter your password okay all right so cd to uh, example dash app folder and then uh, run vendor or dot forward slash vendor there's slash uh, bin slash slash sale up to start installing or running the docker so it will first uh, download the uh, images from the docker Right, let's test localhost and it is running now. That's that's how easy you can set up Laravel using Docker in your local machine. Let's stop that one first. Okay, now let's let's check if uh, we can run again a dash D means um, we are uh, running uh, sale uh, on the back end so now it's running again and then it's refresh okay to um, stop this one we have to say a uh, sale down okay uh, you don't have to uh, type 
this long command uh, all the time. I'm going to teach you how how you are, how you can or how how you can shorten this um, command uh, in the next video. So I think we're good. Um, thank you for watching this video and um, see you in the next video. All right, thank you.